Hello everyone and welcome to the BluegrassPreps.com Roundup on Sports 1240 WFTM Maysville. I'm Evan Meyer. A week of good weather allowed for a full slate of games last week and there were several closely contested battles. And so in this edition of the 10th Region Roundup, we're just going to go day by day and look at some of the more notable games from last week. On Tuesday night, Scott High won at home against top-ranked Montgomery County and the game was really a nip and tuck affair until the very end when Eagles sophomore guard Nelson Perrin had a put-back basket at the buzzer to defeat the Indians. 62 to 60. The win was a big one for Scott, who's really been up and down all season long, but it's important to highlight also that Montgomery County was playing without the services of its leading scorer and rebounder, junior forward Jared Jones. Bracken County also lost at the buzzer on Tuesday night at Newport. Ethan Snap found Cameron Covington wide open underneath, and Covington's basket at the horn gave Newport a 59-57 victory. Mason County on Tuesday night outscored homestanding Paris 13-2 down the stretch to beat the Greyhounds 60-56. It was a good win for Buddy Biggs' club, but Paris was also playing without its leading scorer and rebounder, senior forward Kobe Garrett. On Thursday night, Campbell County outscored Augusta 50-34 in the second half to beat the visiting Panthers 87-67. Also on Thursday, Bishop Rossert took on Murray in the opening round of the state Class A tournament in Frankfurt. And it wasn't the greatest night for the Mustangs, who shot just 33% from the floor in a 37-33 loss. Friday night saw a showdown of the 10th region's top two guards as Jake Omer and Scott visited Austin Crawford in Bracken County. The Eagles led the Polar Bears 44-26 at halftime, but Bracken County stormed back and cut the lead to two points in the fourth quarter. But Omer and company proved too strong and won the game 87 to 80. Omer finished with 42 points on 20 for 20 free throw shooting and in the process became Scott's all-time leading scorer. Also on Friday, Montgomery County beat Clark County on the road 63 to 48. Again, the Indians playing without the services of Jared Jones. Mason County on Friday night beat Rowan County in overtime on the road by a score of 70 to 62. Now the one big battle on Saturday was a huge 37th district showdown as Scott visited Camp. Campbell County. The Eagles actually outplayed the Camels for the better part of the game, but Matt Wilson dominated down the stretch, scoring 19 second half points in a 70 to 58 Campbell County win. Wilson would finish with 22 points and 15 rebounds. Now, despite the loss to Scott, we still have Montgomery County ranked at number one in the region, and Bishop Rossert stays at number two. Campbell County jumps a spot to number three, and Mason County moves up to number four. Paris falls two spots to number five, Clark County drops to number six, and Scott moves up to number seven. Augusta, Bracken County, and Pendleton County round out our top 10 at numbers 8, 9, and 10 respectively. Thanks again for listening to the BluegrassPreps.com Roundup on Sports 1240 WFTM Maysville. I am Evan Meyer.